If I'm being completely honest, I didn't think I was going to be making this video just for the simple fact of the pressures of life and peer pressure. And to actually be able to say that I've done over 200 days sober is something I'm pretty impressed with. And for me, it was more of a goal to see what I could do. And getting to that point has definitely made a difference for me. Obviously, the 200 days is over now and that does change things. But in the last 200 days, I have learnt a lot and from that it has made me more in tune with my body but also at the same time it's allowed me to understand why it's important to maybe take some time off drinking. So how did this all start? So we have to go back to the end of last year 2023 to get a full explanation and originally the plan was to compete in June and that didn't happen because I wasn't big enough. My coach then said to me about competing in September and I thought that that might have worked better for me. So the idea came around that I was going to need to obviously go into the strict dats, which I've done before, which means no drinking for me. And when I was first told about September, I then thought to myself, it's only three months until the end of the year. So why not add on three months to whatever my prep is, which would probably be around four months, meaning that I would have done seven months in total of no drinking. And then when I looked at it and I was thinking it would probably be better for me to do a pre-prep phase as well, it meant that I was thinking of going from when I came back from skiing. This there was a bit too bright, but yes, anyway, um, essentially when I came back from skiing on the 3rd of February, I thought it would be a great idea to go off the drink for the rest of the year to allow myself just to understand what it's like not to have drink in my system for a pretty long time. Throughout 2023, I was going out drinking and binge drinking at that. And it got to the point where I was able to drink maybe say 10 pints and not actually be drunk, which is a bit dangerous in the sense of having such a high tolerance, meaning that I can drink a lot of alcohol is not beneficial for my goals that I have. and. If I am going out and drinking that much, it's just a self-destructive mindset because I know I can go out and drink that much and not be feeling the worst. It's showing me a sign that I am needing to take a break from it because building up a tolerance to that level isn't something that I'm proud of. But at the same time, it did show me more about myself. And the big thing I'd probably have to say as well is that there are so many benefits that I've had over the last six and a half months now from not drinking and i think it's just important to share them with you because you might actually find something useful from this and take it and use it yourselves for maybe going off alcohol for one month or doing sober october jai january or something like that but like if i just name off something but if i just name some things off the top of my head for instance, my sleep has improved, my routine is so much better, my mood is a lot better as well. Um, I never have the fear of waking up the next morning because I can't remember what's happened the night before. My skin has improved and my overall performance in the gym, any way that I can think of, is so much better. By not having drink control parts of my life and knowing that I'm going out and focus specifically on that, it has made my life 10 times easier and the being able to get up fresh every single day, day in, day out and not have to worry about having a hangover has made my life so much easier and again it can probably help me for what's going to happen next year going into this dad phase and the reason that I'm making this video today is not to gloat or to say that oh look at me, it's more that it could possibly help you in the sense of if you've ever thought about going off alcohol for some time, then this might be the video for you. And on top of that as well, for me, having been off alcohol for so long, I now think I can go back onto it and handle it in a way that sh it should always be handled. And that's just with a lot more caution. On top of that as well, the reason that I'm making this decision to finish my sober streak would probably be because I think it's important to have a bit of downtime before going into a prep and for me I now know for a fact that when next year starts going forward I probably won't drink any more than three to four times a year and it would have to be for special occasions and I think having some downtime before my prep is just going to allow me to kind of 
clear everything out of my system, get my head right, probably go back to not actually liking it and it'll probably make my decisions a lot easier. But in the meantime, it's just something that I think that is gonna help me in a way that I never thought it would. And having the ability to actually save money from not going out drinking because pints are ridiculously expensive nowadays. If you're going into anywhere in Belfast, you could be paying upwards of six pounds and that is a lot of money. Whereas if you take that over a night basis, if you have 10 pints, for instance, like I was saying, that's 60 quid. That 60 quid could go for two months gym membership or something like that. And it comes a lot more beneficial or go toward buying more supplements. And for me, having the ability to have that bit of extra cash has allowed me to save it and put it towards things that are gonna benefit me further down the line. And it's something that you should maybe look at yourselves because yes, alcohol is fun and it is enjoyable with your friends. And I have noticed over the last number of months missing out on things because I'm not drinking. Definitely has allowed me just to realize what my priorities are and what I want them to be. And I think that with the job that I have, I need to be able to set an example for other people. But at the same time, when you are stuck in that nine to five job, I can understand why when the weekend comes around, you wanna go out and get absolutely shit faced. And it's understandable when you're hating something and you're having to do it every single day just to get by. Whereas for me, I've been very lucky in the sense of being able to do a job that I've loved since I've been 19 and not have any regrets whatsoever. And the big thing for me is, yes, it's been tough and, it's been str and there's been struggles, but overall, I've loved the process of it and getting to a point where I'm actually stable now has made a massive difference in my mindset. And for me, the going out and drinking side of things doesn't really affect me as it once would have when I was in school. Like there would have been times when people were going out drinking and I couldn't because I was still in school and I felt like I was missing out and I had that fear, but because of how things are now, it definitely makes my life a lot easier and I'm not afraid to miss out because I've been able to develop relationships with people who are like-minded and who are striving to better themselves and being able to put myself in that headspace has allowed me to be a lot more comfortable with missing out and not being afraid of what's gonna happen next. At the end of the day, to finish off this video, I think it's important to understand that alcohol is a depressant and if you are in a headspace of where you aren't happy, it is just gonna elevate that and it's very important that you can understand that as well. At the end of the day, alcohol is always gonna be there and by taking a bit of time off it, isn't gonna do any harm. So if I were you, I would maybe take some time off it and just see how much your life changes because for me, my life has changed drastically due to not being on alcohol. I've been able to focus on my business more and I've been able to just stay focused on what my goal is. And from doing that, it has made all the difference. So yeah, the 218 day streak will be coming to an end soon. I haven't regretted it one bit and I could probably see myself doing this again in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to show my experience with you guys over the last 218 days as I haven't really spoken about it too much but I think it's important to talk about as it will be coming to an end. And I think it would be important to maybe show you how I feel after drinking alcohol again for the first time and just how things go. But yeah, guys, I'm just keeping this video real with you. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.